Grand rising, great rising, beautiful rising to you all. Hopefully you all had a great start to your morning. Hopefully today's a great start to the week. We're going to get into the you versus them reading. <clears throat> I just posted the WTF love readings for all elements on my page. And I just feel like a lot of people are giving up. Um, I don't really know what's going on in the ethers right now. Y'all let me know. A lot of people are like, you know what? That's it. I try my best to fight against the hot girl or hot guy summer. It's just going to happen. Somebody hand me my thick daddy shorts. Somebody hand me my sun's out, buns out <laughs> outfits because this, this love thing ain't going to work for me. I don't know why I keep feeling that, but the collective energy is kind of fed up. So we'll see what's going on between you and, and the person, I guess, that you've most recently connected with. See if we can figure out what's going on in, in the ethers when it comes to love because I'm telling you, people are about fed up. I'm just going to get this money and make this lifestyle work. So, I'm going to wait for a few moments. Thank y'all for joining me. I appreciate you all so very much. Joining me on this journey. It's been a wild journey. Hopefully y'all had a good start to your day. Your coffee, your tea, your crumpets, whatever it is for you. All right. We're going to start. Because y'all know I don't like to delay. I don't like to just be sitting here in silence. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so again decide which side of the tracks um is your story or your energy um on the left or on the right um so let's get started with the left side may i have three cards spirit what's going on with the person or the energy on the left side we have home cycles hmm. all right you want to come out and love yeah the person <laughs> the person on the left is someone who decided to stay at home. Stay at home with the wife, stay at home with the kids, stay at home with the cycle. Whatever that karmic cycle is. Someone didn't come into union. They could be between the ages of 28 and 35. You guys could have recently been together for um, six months or y'all were together during June. Is it, oh, we're in, are we, we're in June. Okay, so something about six, either six months ago this person was with you or the last time y'all were together, y'all were together for six months before they ghosted you again. Um, or it was this June. June is when they decided to go home to the to their their love, the person that they married, the person that they had children with, the person that they started a home with. They had um, they definitely had help from a, a, hmm, help from above that they were playing victim consciousness and self sabotaging themselves. They knew that spirit let them know that they were getting ready to self sabotage the connection that they had with you. But I guess they felt obligated to go home, which was very that was very pertinent in today's WTF love readings is that people are holding true to their religious factors, which could be, I had children with this person. I have to stay there until the kids are 18. I got married to this person and we don't get divorced. So I just have to tough it out. Whatever that means, whatever their truth is to why they had to go home, they decided to go home. I'm also seeing businesses like businesses that haven't possibly been opened deeds that have been signed with this person that they decided to get into union with. So even if it's not a marriage, they legally bound or what I like to call DNA bound themselves to someone and they decided to go back home. So if you feel like your person has like disconnected from you, they might have ghosted or you just don't feel their energy. I feel like they've come to the to the decision to go home. So trigger warning. I don't mean to trigger anybody in this situation, but let's move forward and see what's going on on the right side. The energy on the right spirit. And then I have three cards. Wow discover your life purpose so that's what you're going that's why i said i feel like some a lot of the energy right now is like okay well then i'm gonna I'm keep it pushing like i got a whole life to fend for that i deserve and if you're gonna keep going back and forth on whether or not you want to leave this husband leave this wife or leave this family then that's between you and them i gotta keep it pushing on the right side spirit go further into the energy on the right what did i say self-love like, I'm not going to do this with you. I love myself too much to keep going back and forth Why you decide whether or not you want to end your marriage or your relationship or whatever that is. What else is going on on the right side, Spirit? Procrastination, yeah. You know that you procrastinated on a lot of things, waiting for this person to get their shit together. So trigger warning, just letting y'all know now. Y'all know I'm a straight reader. I ain't got time for the same Willy Wonka's factory. You what did I say? 
You procrastinated with letting this person go. You procrastinated with things that you knew that you were supposed to go towards for your life purpose. Time for you to take off your mask. And to be, and I'm going to be honest, I think there is a level of you to be prideful, to be, yeah, stand in that sunlight of that you're, you're moving forward and you're not going to keep going by the same old cycles. You broke the cycles. You got your help from above. Say what you mean about family and tribe. You told this person, it, blood don't make, don't make it. It's not enough. Just because you had a child with that person, that doesn't mean that you need to go back. Just because that's your mom doesn't mean you need to go back and get back into their type of toxic cycles. Just because those are your homies and your friends and your girlfriends from way back when and they always had your back doesn't mean that they, they get to tear apart the love that we have. Whatever it was, you had that conversation. You spoke up to them what real family, what real soul tribe is. They didn't get it. That's why they went back to their family. That's why they went back to their religious beliefs. But you on the right side, gotta stop procrastinating on letting this person go. Energetically, physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever it is, take your mask off. Stop believing that this person's gonna come back and be everything you want. We don't live in a Disney fairy tale world. Both of y'all are having, that's the bottom of the, the bottom of the deck energy is letting go. They're having a problem with letting go of their old cycles and you're having a problem letting go of this, this soulmate twin flame union. And spirit wants to know that they've been holding you and, and healing you and coddling you as much as they can, but it's time. So if you, you're, you're holding on to maybe, even if it is just a fairy tale, even thought of love, maybe you don't have a person. Maybe this is something so old and long ago that you're like, man, that happened like 10 years ago, but it's still clearly sitting around because the energy is here with me. 10 years, you've been holding on that this twin flame was going to come back. That baby done went from two years old to 12 years old, and you still hoping that they're going to get it. They're not right now, not with the energy that I feel. No, they're not going to just get it. It's not just going to happen. It's time for you to keep moving forward. I also feel like those on the right side have turned down love offers. And, and some of you justifiably because you thought that, oh, this person was coming back to be your twin flame. You didn't want to get hit with karma. You ain't want God to slap you on your wrist. I get that. Others of you are holding on because your, your soul doesn't resonate with anyone else like it does with this person, but it's never going to. This person, if they were your twin flame, they're the only twin flame. You get what I'm saying? If that was a soulmate love, that soulmate connection, it's, all, it's like you have your cell phone number and they have their cell phone number. You have your IP address and they have their IP address. You'll never be able to get that IP address feeling with someone else. It just is what it is. Just like that person will never be able to get the feeling of you somewhere else. You can't sit here and tell me, nor can this person sit here and energetically tell me that the person that they went home to feels better and feels more resonated with their soul than you. That's not the truth. They're going by religious factors. They're going by facts. I had a child. I got married. I started this. Bop, bop, bop. This is not an emotional pull over here, but yours is. And that's what spirit is trying to tap you on your shoulder and let you know it's time for you to move forward. Let's go, for, let's go further. This is just a collective. Hey, Tin Cat. If you want to send me an email, my email is on my um, TikTok. I'll send you a list of the different readings that I'm doing right now. Good morning, Grand Rising, Grand Rising. Trigger warning, trigger warning. This is about someone going back to their, to their wife or husband. So I don't want nobody cussing me out in the comments. Y'all know I love y'all, but just saying. Who's that, Felicia? Hey, good morning, Felicia. Thank you for joining me. Good morning, Charm. Good morning, Molly. This is collective. Either you're the energy on the left and you went back to your wife or husband or you're the energy on the right and you're procrastinating moving forward with the self-love that you know that you need to give yourself. Good morning. Good morning, Southern gal. Thank you all for joining me. Grand rising, great rising. Country reeking. Good morning. All right, let's get more on this left side, Spirit. What's going on? Ooh, child. <laughs> yin the feminine energy they want you back i don't think the feminine energy is on the right but take it as it resonates this person should have been more flexible with the feminine energy good morning good morning to be fair i'm gonna get one more they know they're not being fair they know they're not being flexible they know they're not doing what they need to do grand rising grand rising Ooh, child one more <laughs> Stayed in the fork in the road too long. Who did the math? I can't make this. I can't make it up, y'all. I can't make it up. Huh. 
the masculine should have told the truth and went the distance to mend this situation. And now they're orphaned from the loyal heart because you decided to take a nap and go towards what you're fated to go towards, which is your treasure island. Okay, let's be clear. Ooh, child, I got chills all over the damn place. That's at the bottom of the deck, all right? The cards that came out. This person should have went towards who they knew was their divine feminine or the feminine energy. It doesn't have to be a female. It could have been the person that they know that they love, the person that they felt at home with, the person that they opened up to, the support, all of that, the unconditional connection. They should have been flexible with this person. So I don't know what it was or what it, sh what it was between the two of you that they weren't trying to see things from a higher perspective or to at least give in a little bit to the love. They should have been fair to you, gave what, what you were given. I'm hearing breadcrumbing. So they breadcrumbed you. They weren't being flexible to your type of love. Maybe y'all have different love languages. You like to spend quality time. They might like, you know, words of affirmation, something like that. They weren't willing to learn your love language, even though you were willing to learn theirs. They kept the situation at a fork in the road and never made a decision to move forward with you. And again, at the bottom of the deck, just in case you missed it, the masculine energy should have told the truth and went the distance to mend this situation. Now they feel orphaned from the loyal heart because you decided to take a nap and disconnect from this person. But that's what was fated to happen because the treasure island should be yours since you did the work. The person should have cleaned it up. The masculine energy should have cleaned this whole situation up. I'm also seeing that this, you might not know about this, this wife, this husband, this child that they have with someone else. All they had to do was, I'm here, all you had to do was have a conversation with me. All we had to do was talk this thing out. But you decided to hide, keep shit away from me. You know, you tried not to tell me everything and now we're here. Right, should have just said sorry. I walked in right. Oh, I wanted. I just wanted the truth. Amen. I hope I give y'all some clarity and truth because I ain't. I ain't here for no fluff talk, baby. It's enough you sitting at home trying to figure out what this person got going on. You don't need to be tapping at somebody live reading and they give you more questions than they are answers. So I hope that this helps, but I don't mean to trigger anyone. All right, let's get on the right side. Hmm. Didn't I say the fates? The fates is working on your behalf on the right side. <laughs> Go ahead and breathe and be calm. I'm telling you, let me get two, three, two more cards here, Spirit. All in your all in your head and in your mind. We get it. One more card on the right side. One more card on the right side. Because it's time, baby. What did I say? That procrastination card was right there. It's time. <laughs> Damn it, I can't make these cards up, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I hope y'all start, I, I do. I hope people who think that I'd just be over here, some type of Miss Cleo shit, that's not me. I'm trying to be real. The land of milk and honey is waiting for you. Let go of the idea of this person. Let go of the opportunity that they might come back and make it right. Let go of the 10 and 12 and 15 and 20, 25. I just, somebody just told me no 25, 25 years that you waited for this person to get it together. Cause I'm, cha I'm channeling like from anywhere from mid twenties to early fifties, early sixties. That's how wide this collection is, that this collective energy is for me right now. Very wide age range. It could have been six months that you were holding on to this person. It was the worst six months of your life or it could have been legit 25 years that you were, okay, after the kids, you know, graduate, he's gonna do it. And then now here we are in our mid forties Something's telling me that this storyline is this way because they they want the 20s to learn from those 40s, 50s, and 60s that might be in this chat or that are that follow me. Look at the age ranges of those that follow me that have been waiting for their twin flame to come along. These people want, our elders want us to learn not to hold on to someone when they have religious factors of, I can't leave until the child graduates. I can't leave until we get our business. These, these things keep you around because they don't want to let go. Don't be that 40, 50, 60. And if you are, I have my apologies to you. I don't mean you any harm, but I just feel, oh, I'm about to cry. I feel like from my elder generation, they're trying to send trigger warnings to the younger generation. Even if you're in your 60s and you want to talk to someone in their 50s, don't lose that 10 years. Don't lose that 10 months. Don't lose that 10 minutes on this person. They made their decision. Oh, sorry. There goes that leg up. I'm telling you, they're... <laughs> You're going to keep yourself round and round with somebody that's not for you and feeling an orphan energy if you don't go and get that leg up and build your own dynasty. This other person is going to keep you in a round and round, not for you, orphaned energy. It's time to move forward. 
Ain't nobody got time for know when the kids going to graduate. Nobody got time for that. It's time to go to your land of milk and honey. The time is ticking, baby. This is your leg up. This is your, your warning message. Point blank and period. It's time to let go. This person made their decision. Oh my gosh, I can't make this. I just shuffled these cards, y'all. And here I am about to pick them up. And what's the only card that's flipped over is a twin flame card. Yeah, it's a twin flame union. You know that this was a soul contract connection. But, I mean, when people decide to move on, baby, you can't sit around waiting, losing some time on your own life. Male or female, I don't care what, what your sex is now. I'm not saying I don't care, like I don't care about you, but this is about energy. This is about someone making the decision to go back to their family and you can't wait. We ain't doing that. That's, that's not an option. Let's get some more clarity on these cards here, y'all. Thank y'all for um, joining me. I truly appreciate it. Truly, truly appreciate all of y'all. This person ain't had... I can't. The only, this person is heartbroken. They keep flipping my, they keep flipping one card at a time as I'm going through shuffling. They're heartbroken. They're sad. Trust me, they're not happy. They're so not happy. It may have been a, they may have been their family, like their mother, their grandmother, or someone who told them that they need, you need to go back and get with that girl. You need to go back with that guy. That's, they, that's their parent. You need to go back and get with the parent and, and raise them kids together. That's how we do. Somebody said something like that to a family member, which even like sped up their process of going back to this person. This person may have also grown up, maybe their father or their mother passed away very young or their father or their mother left them when they were very young. Drug addictions or otherwise, because I'm hearing that somebody's mother might have ran away and started a new family somewhere else. My, my apologies there. Um, but whoever talked to your person, Use their own story against them to tell them to go back to their person, to go back to the, the wife or the husband. Like you were an orphan child. You're going to do that to that child. You know, you didn't have both your parents growing up. You're going to do that to that child. Whatever it was, they laid it on thick. What's going on on the left side? <laughs> Sabotaging. And they still got that mask. They're not showing their true feelings. Like I said, there's no, there's not a lot of love going on on the left side over here. What's the name of the first two decks real quick? So this deck back here is called Healing Yourself by Anna Seagal. And then this deck here is The Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed You can get them all on Amazon. The one I'm using right now is the Love Oracle deck, but you got to get this on Etsy. It's been sold out on Amazon for like ever. All right, <clears throat> moving forward. If you are looking for any type of reading, love, life, career, or just general information, um, definitely send me an email. My email's on my TikTok page and I'll give you a listing of the readings that I'm offering right now. Go further into the um, energy on the left spirit. It came out again. They know, they know they sabotaged this tw twin flame union. They know, they know they stabbed you in the back. You're welcome. Thank you, Queen. Come on, Queen of Swords. Come on, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, they ran. I, I can't. I, I'm, I, I'm not going to say I'm sick of their energy, but I'm kind of like, I can't pull anything more than what's here. They know who you are. They know that they ran. They know they're not telling the truth. They know they sabotage the situation, but they still love you. A Libra, yep. That Queen of Swords, that Libra energy. Blessings to you. Love Jones, I'm sick of them too. And I, I be, as a reader, I be feeling like, you can't say that. You, you, you just being rude and mean. But I'm about sick of it. Because you keep coming up in here asking for me to give a message to your person. And it's the same shit you said last time. I'm just as fed up as your person. I'm, I, oh, I, can, oh, I, just, I gotta keep it funky. Like, I don't, I don't even want you to tap into my energy. So I, I know for a damn sure they don't want you to text a call. <laughs> Shit. I mean, excuse me, but don't excuse me. Cause that was that was real. I'm I'm I need something more. Like either reveal what the hell you got going on, reveal what your real plan is, reveal something other than I miss you. We know that. 
crying in the middle of the damn night, waking people up out they sleep. We know. They know. They feel you. All touching on people, trying to get in the bed energetically. Y'all are twin flames. Come on now. Energetically, they know you just still there, smelling your cologne, smelling your perfume. You know? Child. Ah, okay. Let's move to the right side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I'm not, but I am. <laughs> uh, all right. Energy on the right side. That's how you feel. You feel like this was an empath, narcissist situation. You feel like this person, are they really my twin flame? Because they feel more like a karmic. Like, are we sure that this is a twin flame? Yeah. Your twin flame, they teach you karmic lessons. Y'all are supposed to trigger each other until you come into union. This person just keeps getting triggered, but they're not coming into union. Trust me, you're triggering the hell out of their childhood wounds, but they have to have, but they have free will. We all have free will. That's the thing. I try to tell people all the time. I could sit here and give you a reading after a reading after a reading. That person still won't have free will to do what they want to do. And that's what this situation is right here. This is the prime example. You waited as long as you did to the point where spirit is telling you you're procrastinating on your own abundance and blessings. Let it go. Because this person has free will and they decided to go somewhere else. Yeah, it's time for you to be open to meeting up with new people. When you do open up, I do think there's going to be a, a shocking change because we had the milk and honey and we had the uh, tre the tre treasure chest as well. When you finally open up, you'll be surprised that love's going to come in. I think you're going to get a soulmate union. Yeah, there is some sadness about the separation. I do. I think I channeled this earlier. There was a, a ghosting that might have happened recently, like in June, in the last six months, or the last time y'all were connected together, it was like a six month period before they left again, something like that. Yeah, there was insane chemistry that you had with this person. You did think that there would be a wedding, yes. I think I'm more just clarifying who this person is, because I don't think you want to get married today. I don't see you saying yes to any, any, yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. The Phoenix, you decided to renew, grow, change your mind, and you decided to get in your boat and leave. You close the issues and you're moving on. So it's like, yeah, I held, I do feel like there was, this is a whole storyline of you trying to hold on because you knew that you were supposed to get married to this person. In your soul, you knew. But have faith because love is coming. And it's going, like I said, it's going to be a surprise once you open up your heart again to this situation. Paradise, come on, paradise and abundance with a soulmate. On the right side, just keep holding on, baby. Spirit got something for you. Let me just get um. Oh, this person on the left just wore me out. I don't know what you want from me, baby. I really don't. But if you can, you can you come correct, <laughs> please. Let me get you some affirmations to help you with whatever the hell you got going on on the left side and the right side. But I don't know what the left side be wanting. If you are a cross watcher and this is your story, reach out to me, baby. Let let me know what you want me to say or do, cause I'm I I don't know. Michelle, what's a cross watcher? So, a cross watcher. Let's say if you are, um, since I do have a Libra, I know I got at least one Libra in the in the chat, gang gang. If you're a Libra and your person's a Sagittarius, that Sagittarius would watch a Libra reading to be able to see what's going on with you in your energy. So it would be like cross watching. It would be like this person on the left side watching the, this person on the reading so that they could try to figure out what's going on. Cross watching over to your other person's energy. Thank y'all for bearing with me that one moment. Let me get some um some other. I hope that I hope that helps. I'm on um is that Ayla? This is just a collective reading. Either you're on the left side or you're on the right side of this particular reading. All right, let's see what else comes out. Mm -mm -mm. And then we'll do some um, butterfly kisses to see maybe what y'all have to say to one another. And we'll close out. On the left side, you were their son. You were their son. They recognize you and all the healing that you gave to them, all of, all of that. They found bliss in you. But the only way to really truly stay as freely as they were is to come back to you. I think they know that. The sacral chakra. They're feminine. There goes the feminine energy again. They miss their person. I, I, moving on. Let's go on the right side. Hello, Tracy. Thank you, fish. I appreciate that. 
I'm a cross watcher. They are the left. You're the right, Lisa. Okay. I want to know, is anyone resonating on the left? Maybe you don't want to put yourself out there like that. I'm not trying to roll you up. I just really want to know if anyone resonates with this person. I want to know if this person is ever in my, in my actual lives, in my actual readings. You're on the left, lovers, or you're on the left? Who's on the left? I mean, again, you don't got to put yourself out there. Hey, Cosmic. Hey, Patrice. The live is paused. Can y'all hear me, see me before I move on? Am I still paused? On the left, this person went back to, thank you, beauty. Thank you. The live is good. Thank you, Linda. Thank y'all. All right. Thank you, Erica. Okay. On the left, this person went back to their family. Someone who they either got married with, had kids with, started a business with, something like that. This person went back to that person. They know who their twin flame is. They know that they ran away from their twin flame, but they also know that they had to go back to their family because that's what Big Ma said or somebody told them. On the right side, you've been holding on and waiting for this person. You've been almost procrastinating your own abundance because you haven't let go of this situation. You're hoping that this person comes back because you know that they're your twin flame. No one else really resonates with your soul like this person, but it's time for you to leave. So I want to know if this person on the left is in my, in my life because we want to understand. Every time I try to channel more energy, it's just like, well, no, I just miss them and I just love them and they were the love of my life. Okay. We got that story. I think a lot of readers have that same story. Why are you here though? What is the syllabus for this situation? Because I signed up and I'm here, but you keep wanting to talk about the same old, same old. Like baby, we only got so many boxes of Kleenex that we can go through this situation. I'm in my, I'm sorry, I'm in my Queen of Swords energy, baby. Like give me the facts. Let's go, okay. On the right side, Spirit, I'm sorry. This person on the left just got me just com confusion. It's confusion. <laughs> on the left, it's time for gratitude. Be grateful that God told you to leave. You get what I'm saying? Be grateful that the red flags were were like Vegas signs. Be grateful. And I'm and, and I'm not I'm not saying for me, because I don't, it's not about me. It's about you getting the mess from God. But God's saying be grateful for this, for the truth. Because some people walking around just as blind playing third party, playing the side chick or the side guy because they don't understand that a twin flame union doesn't mean that you just, oh, which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Like, you don't just keep following behind that person all stupid and, and blind. This ain't that. You were triggered. You were hurt. And you grew and you healed. So you get abundant. That's how that works. This person, until they get on your level, Get on my level. Hey, get on my level. Who's the, somebody is like, is somebody in the car listening to music? I don't know, but I just started, it just hit me. Anyway, celebrate life every day. Celebrate the life that, that spirit has given you. And then there's the, the air element. So I could, again, be channeling some, some air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or the air element talks about communication, clarity of the mind, being able to, you know, think about the wind. It can move anything. It can move anything, fire, earth, or water. It's all right here at your fingertips. Do as you please. Communicate. Think of a new, a new blessing that you want. Manifest. We've given you the opportunity. Go out there and make that thing happen. Come on, reach out to us and take these blessings. Nature, spirit, and the will of life, the will of fortune is definitely in your... In your <laughs> Wow, so many blessings on the right side once you let go. You may also want to get out into nature. So if you've been keeping yourself captive a lot, um, definitely spend some time outside. If somebody's saying you, there's one person who doesn't really like the outdoors, yes, your balcony or your front porch or your back porch or your back your backyard, that is enough. Just get outside and get some fresh air. You get what I'm saying? Like y'all really got to get this. It's not about opening a window because somebody's like, but I open my windows every weekend. No, baby, that sunlight wants to do something to you. You get what I'm saying? That grounding, go walk in the sand, go walk in the grass. It, it's trying to give you something. And I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I might not be channeling many who know how to meditate or to go outside and get grounded and to soak up the energy from the sun, soak up the energy from Mother Earth. 
it'll do something for you. It'll it'll give you that strength of release because right now you're sitting in a clusterfuck of either your apartment or your room or your home, and all that energy is just bouncing off the walls and into you, off the walls and into you. You need to release that shit into the world, into God, and then God can replenish you. You get what I'm saying? Energy is never lost, right? It moves from one thing to the next. You need to release this heavy energy so that you can take in some good. Go stand out in the sunlight. Sit by the pool, by the lake, at the park. You got. You definitely got to change up your routine. Sorry, I know I went real deep, but on the right side, you got to change up this routine. Right. Most times you do not end up with your twin flame. Most times you don't. This journey ain't easy. And some of us aren't even on twin flame journeys. Um, I do want to point that out as well. But it's not the romanticized journey that people make it seem like oh your soul split into two and god put you both on earth and y'all just go through some things until you find each other no bitch you go through motherfucking hell with your your feet wide open on brimstone while you know there's a hawk on your back trying to beat you up and there's 16 devils all around you trying to gang you know jump you no this this motherfucking thing ain't excuse my language see y'all got me cussing i'm sorry Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. This journey ain't easy. All of those childhood wounds that you probably haven't even told anyone about, a twin flame brings all that shit to the surface like, like it happened yesterday. You will be crying like you five years old, six years old, 10 years old, going outside to get a switch to get your ass beat on something. You will feel like that little orphan child abandoned again. That's what the twin flame journey does. Because in order for you and that person to come into union and to ascend to the next level, that means you're not going to be reincarnated here again. Get what, get what I'm saying? Your soul has to be rid of all the karmic lessons from so many past lives. Both of y'all. It ain't fun. It's like going to Disney. You're like, yo, I'm about to ride all these rides at Disney. I'm about to ride everything. And if you've been to Disney, you know that that marker will say two hours from this point before you get to ride the ride. Bitch, two hours. You ain't gonna be able to ride four or five things. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to the truth. That's how the twin flame journey is. It's not, it's it's not the Disney princess story that everyone now your soulmate love journey? Oh baby. Which Disney princess would you like to be? Okay, made to order. But this twin flame journey is something else. People call it a karmic journey. Yeah, it's karmic up until the point where people start to decide to learn and heal because even if you're not on a twin flame journey you could be a karmic person and you're karmic as long as you're not healing you're not evolving you're not growing you're staying in the same old cycle you're not contributing to the world you ain't contributing to the universe you ain't contributing to shit but you yeah you karmic and like you don't have to be in a twin flame union so i don't like people to call the twin flame union a karmic union no it's, it's a karmic journey And no, you don't get a false twin flame. You just get karmic contracts to come along to, tr to trigger you and your twin flame. I also want to give that. I gave that earlier last week. Ooh. I'm sorry, Jane Bonnet. I don't mean to make anyone feel bad. I really don't. I really don't. It's not easy. The twin flame journey ain't easy. Love ain't easy. It's not. Soulmate journey ain't easy. It's not. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. Got my own personal on the twin flame journey. We ain't going to get into all that because this is not confession hour. But <laughs> trust me when I tell you. It's not easy. Right? Intuitive tarot love. I'm just saying it's not. It's not easy. Don't romanticize it. Please, y'all. And if you are a reader and you give people readings and you're just not sure, I'm pretty sure you have your own guides. Ask them about it. I asked them about it. All the time. Let's get into your divine abundance and um, also get a prayer out here before I close out. Y'all know I don't like the closing no negative energy now. Let's see what comes out. Ooh, well, that one shot. That shot right out. So I'm going to keep it. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Let's see what else comes out here. 
I'm gonna get two more cards and then I'm gonna get one prayer and I'm gonna close out. Thank y'all for being here with me. Time to sacrifice. Like I said, some of you are sacrificing the person. Some people are sacrificing what this, this romanticized, what love should be. Don't let it keep you down though. You've been doing the work. <laughs> Y'all see the card? Y'all see the card? Do I even need to explain that card? Because we've been here since the beginning with that same message. I don't mean to trigger anyone. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all together. I can safely let go. I can safely sacrifice the person who showed me they didn't want me in their life. I, I don't be making it up and I don't be sitting here to try to make nobody feel bad. This is the healing butterfly for a reason. I snatched that damn bandaid off. I put some salve on that shit and I send you back outside to go enjoy your life. That's what this is about. That's why I made this page. I got tired of people fluff talking people in, in tarot. Sometimes you that you gotta let that shit go. Somebody is like, you know, when you're playing tug of war and that that rope start, you know, what is it called? Indian brush burn on your hands. Why are you holding on? Let that shit go. Yes, this this part is collective. I, I I feel like this is more the person on the right side energy. It's easy to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. So let go. And just know that the ease of you ma of your manifestations, I said that earlier, you got to let go of that energy. God can't fill up what's already there. You can't park in a parking spot where somebody already parked. That's not how that works. True offering, take what can be an unbearable cross, this unbearable cross that you have right now on your back and return it to love. What did I say? Go outside and just say, God, take it all. I ain't saying you got to go outside with some drums and some crystals and sit out there and kumbaya, my Lord, and, and call something in. Ain't nobody saying you got to do all that. You ain't got to go outside and chant. Go outside and stand in the, in the light and just put your arms on and say, God, just take it all. I'm ready. I'm ready to receive. Just take it all. Don't get into no type of religiousness that or the third or the eighth. Expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. That's all it is. You you pent up, your ego might be a little bruised. You're getting some guidance though because of this situation happening, but that's all right. You'll be okay. You'll be all right. I'm sending y'all so much healing. I'm a light, I'm a light a candle for y'all. Cause I get it. I've been in that space. I've been in that space. Like, don't nobody feel like going outside walking on motherfucking grass. Don't nobody feel like going outside and praying, laying in the sunlight. Welcoming in God. What you talking about? I'm hurting over here. I get it. I want y'all to cuss me straight out. And then after you done cussing me straight out, I still want you to go outside and stand in the grass. <laughs> I still want you to go outside and thank God for your blessings and stand in the sunlight. Yep. I want you to get it all off your chest because it's sitting there. It's at the top. It's like a, a pot of, uh, what do they call it? Pot of milk with the lid on. You about to bust. Cuss me. I'll take it. I'll take it. Lady Day will take it. Cuss me smooth out in the comments. And then when you're done, Take your ass on outside and let God love on you a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you just, and think about that. How many times were you like, I'm, I don't feel like working out. And you don't work out for like three months. And that first time you really go in there that, into the gym and you come out, you're like, damn, I'm sore. But that felt good. That's what this is. I feel like I need to be everybody big mom. Take your ass outside and don't you open my door no more. <laughs> don't you waste my good air conditioning in this July heat, in this June heat. Okay, take your tail outside. Take your tail to the gym. Take your tail to wherever you used to go. Take it. Get it. I'm going to tell your grandma. And if she's not here, you know I can still tell her because I talk to people on the other side. <laughs> I'm going to knock on your grandma's uh, heavenly door. You know your child down here acting up. All right. Let's see what comes out. Creative blocks. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine. Make it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. Release me from any blocks or restrictions. Give it to God. Offer it to God. Ain't that what I said? Go out there and offer it over to God. But y'all don't want to hear me. But y'all don't want to hear me though. I'm going to get one more. Doubt. 
offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. Didn't I say cuss me out? Yeah, get angry at me, please. Because at least some emotions coming out of you and you're not sitting at home like a hermit. Let's cuss, let's fuss, let's get it out, come on. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. So after you've done fussing, take your ass outside and free me from this doubt of prison. I cast this burden to you, God. Show me your will and restore me to the faith and, con and confidence. I don't be, I'm not saying it because I want you to go do it. I don't know you like that personally, baby. I love you. Energetically, I love you. This is God. God is telling you to get out. God is telling you to release it. That's what this whole situation is, has been about. Finding your independence in this situation. In that inner child care, that inner child love. I, I, all right, y'all. That's what I got. That's what I got. I hope that that helped. Again, trigger warning all over this thing. I will post this on my YouTube. Um, so I will download it and make sure that it's there. But this is what y'all needed. Thank y'all so much for the gifts. I'm sorry, I channeled with my eyes all over the place. So every person that sent me a gift, God bless you all. Thank you so much. Y'all touched me in, in so many ways. So thank y'all, thank y'all. Um, I, 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 I just, I might need to open up a session of like doing like one, one question readings or something like that. Um, I think a lot of people will probably benefit off that. Thank you, Intuitive. Thank you, T. Thank you. Who is this here? Paris. I don't know where the, uh, Ash, is that Ash? Thank you, Ash. Thank you, Marlene. I'm trying to go to everyone. <laughs> if I missed you, you know I didn't mean it. Thank you, thank you. Y'all are so amazing. Thank y'all so much. Oh, T, you want to watch it? Yeah, I'm thinking about doing one uh, maybe over the weekend or something of just doing like quick one $1 questions or something like that. Thank you for, thank you, Lala. Thank y'all for joining me. I hope y'all have a great start to your week. If you don't go outside today, I'm going to be knocking on your door. Okay? I'm just letting you know now. Sis, bro, I'm here. Let's go for a walk. I might, I might have to start doing that, going on walks and, and bringing y'all on live, and we can talk about a few things. Maybe I'll do that, too. Maybe that'll spark some of y'all. Um, can I do Sag? So I only have about four minutes before I got to move on. Um, to something else that I have planned for today. So I do plan on coming back later. Um, and maybe we'll get into the new love or crush and do that by element. Um, but I did load, um, is that Danny, Danny Rue? I loaded some new um, videos on my TikTok page. So I do have love readings that were just pulled today. So go to my TikTok page and you can see those for today for um, all signs, every sign is on there. Sagittarius is under fire. This I just did, it was just the me versus you, and it was just energy, just energy. It wasn't for any particular sign. You were either the person that went back to your wife or husband, or you're the person who needs to release and move on and receive God's abundance. Thank you, Mrs. Wright. Mrs. Right now. I know that's right, Mrs. Right now. Get it right, right, sis? Mrs. Right now. I like that. I like that. Yes, definitely stop by my page if you're looking for a love reading. I posted them today. I'll be back later on for a new love and crush reading. Um, it could be a little risque. I'm just letting you know. The cards I use is a little risky. Thank you. Wushu, I appreciate you. I see you and I always see you in the live. So I appreciate your support. All right, guys, I got to go. I will see y'all a little later on. I appreciate you. If you are looking for a personal reading, um, reach me via my email. It's a listen on my TikTok. And follow me on YouTube. There are so many readings on YouTube as well. All of my readings are timeless. If you feel drawn to it, go ahead and watch it. It probably has something for you. So until later, sending y'all all peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise vibes. And until later, namaste. Thank you, Erin. I appreciate you. Have a great start to your week, everyone. Have a blessed, blessed day, Joanne. Thank you. Take care, y'all.